Finding a good budget snowboard is an arduous task. I know you don't want to compromise on its performance or quality, yet also can't fancy living with a beggar's bowl in your hand either. Also, right now, if you don't even know your style, stance, your front foot, and things like that, very unnerving, indeed. At the first position of our list, we have Capita Perspace Living Snowboard. This one is our topic pick, no doubt. Capita provides the best services in beginner boards. The outdoor space living is suited to anyone looking to nail the whole mountain, with their major focus on freestyle rides or even if just fancy riding the groomed runs casually. However, the all-rounder board performs a little better on deep snow, which is a bit unlikely of a typical all-mountain snowboard. The versatility and effective performance of the board makes it a perfect pick, especially for a beginner or an intermediate rider. A true twin shape of this deck, paired with a forgiving flex of 5 out of 10, boasts responsive turn initiation, excellent edge control, and playful nature, rendering it an impressive performance as a freeride board also. Moving on to the next at number 2 with Salomon Assassin Pro Snowboard. As the name suggests, the Salomon Assassin Pro Snowboard fiercely assassinates the hard snow like a knife, rendering it an aggressive all-mountain board and a freestyle snowboard as well. Boasting its predictable medium to stiff flex, the board makes a perfect pick for carving rails and groomers and loves slicing its way through the snow. The flex runs stiffer in the midsection to provide moderate stability while becoming softer in the tips for that pop we love and offers a fair amount of torsional flex. Not so much, though. The number 3 position is held by Capita Defenders of Awesome Snowboard, perfect for anyone who likes to switch between freestyle and all-mountain from time to time. Yes, it's time to ride the park in natural hits. The board is praised for handling speeds, carving rails, jumps, and spins. It has bags of pop for ollies and own side hits and lips. If you are a beginner, don't get too excited as it is too aggressive to handle and not suitable for you. Capita Doe falls on the borders of a locked-in feel, which means it owns stability. Now you can enjoy a worry-free ride, aim for more speeds, and still kill it. The snowboard offers super-fast gliding if well-waxed. Moreover, it also slides smoothly on rough resort snow terrains or any uneven snow. Next at number 4 we have Nitro Prime Raw Snowboard. If you want an all-rounder to tear up the entire mountain, Nitro Prime has got your back as the Prime stability was engineered to always have your back. Also, if you want to make fast progress on the learning curve like a pro, consider the progression-friendly directional shape of the board. This stellar shape allows riders to drop into the unknown with much confidence. The flat-out rocker hybrid profile has nose and tail lift before the conventional contact points making for impeccable turn initiations and maneuvering. Moreover, the lifted tips provide excellent flotation, pressability, and forgiveness. The number 5 position is held by Capita Navigator Men's Snowboard. Indeed, it bends time and space like an alien craft. Capita Navigator with a tapered directional hybrid camber is the best freeride snowboard one can have. As powder-hungry freeriders are most looking forward to riding on groomed snowy steep terrains, the snowboards built for such style are mostly made directional. Capita Navigator also flaunts an alpine foam profile with a directional flex and a parabolic side cut. Here's to scoring more lines. The board feels super nice to ride in powder courtesy of its super long pointy nose, short tail, an optimum amount of rocker in the nose, and a moderate width for extra buoyancy. It really makes carving and turning a piece of cake. Turns are made effortless by the navigator, which you initiate at whatever speed you desire. Finally, the number 6 position is dominated by GNU Bank Country C3 Snowboard. GNU Bank Country features a pretty much full camber from tip to tail with a passive bend in the middle and a camber slash rocker slash camber profile. It has a medium to stiff flex, 7.5 out of 10, between the feet. The nose rests a little bit softer, and the tail is about the same as between the bindings. An edge hole, Kidu is a little behind boards with better magnet traction, but this is still very competent in hard to icy snow. Although, the board grabs less in the softer snow and offers fast and springy turn initiations. Overall, it offers good rides for all conditions, especially accommodating the park rats. That's all for today. We upload budget-friendly product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.